guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and introduce you to a new segment that I'm going to be doing on my channel. And it's going to be all about how to make money when there's no craft fairs. If you're like me, you do multiple crafts. I do a lot of paper crafting, but I also dabble in a lot of other things too. And um, with no craft fairs this year, I've been selling things on Facebook Marketplace that I make. And I've been very successful recently um so i wanted to keep it going and i think that that's going to be the place where people are going to start looking for things um homemade items and craft fair type items that they're not going to be able to pick up for the holidays so something really simple that i did feel free to take the idea um, make it your own and you know become successful with it but i'm not sure what i'm going to call it yet maybe I don't know. Give me some suggestions. It's going to be like the non-craft fair, ways to make money not at a craft fair. I'm, I'm not sure yet. So this is what I did um, that I'm going to put up for sale probably tonight or tomorrow. So I had some 1x4s and 2x4s that we just had left over from various projects. I just took my husband's miter saw and I just cut them down into various sizes. I did some 2-inch, some 3-inch, some 4-inch, some 6-inch just all different sizes that I had no rhyme or reason. Um, and I'll get better at doing process videos. I'm good with the camera pointing down, but as far as like changing angles and recording what I'm doing, I'm still working on that. So be patient with me. I'll, I'll get better at it. Um, so anyway, I took the wood, just cut them all down to different sizes, as you can see here. And um, I took my sander. I have a palm sander. And I just went around and I sanded all of the edges. So I rounded here, 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 you know, all over. Um, once I had them just rounded, I brought them inside and I painted. I chose a couple different chalk paints. I did an ivory, a Waverly. I did a celery color. Um, I did, if you can see this, this Rust-Oleum, I did a Serenity Blue. I did a, uh, what is this, Mineral, which is a gray color. And then I kind of made it my own orange. I couldn't find a um, chalk paint in orange, so I just took the acrylic paint from Dollar Tree in orange, and I mixed it with the ivory paint. And it's thinner than a chalk paint, so you're gonna have to do a couple more layers than you normally would. Um, I did two coats on everything that you see here, and um, then I ended up sanding. So once I had two coats on each, I took it back outside with my palm sander, and then I just sanded each edge. So I just took the paint off around the edges to give it a rustic type look, and then I took the sander and I went with the grain, and I sanded just a rough finish. So you can see there that I took off some of the paint. Um, this one's a little brighter. You can see that I sanded this way. I did the front and the back because I wanted it to look finished. And um, then I went to my Cricut. I used the free font from dafont.com and it is the skinny and it looks like a Ray Dunn type font. And I knew that the one by fours and the two by fours were a little under four inches tall. So I made some letters like this. I made some letters two and a half inches tall. I made some letters an inch and a half tall so they would fit a double on here. And I just did a whole bunch of fall different words. So I did hay rides and pie and apple pie and pumpkins and sweater weather, hay rides. Um, and I just, just printed them out. I transferred them on just using, you know, a regular, uh, regular um, contact paper. And I'm thinking I wanted to sell them at a consistent price, even though they're different sizes. So this little one that just says fall on it is going to be the same price as this. Like, and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do that, but I wanted to keep it consistent and not have to deal with different prices for different sizes. This took me just as much work as this did, so I guess I don't feel bad about that. Um, and if somebody wants to pay the same amount for this, I, I don't know. If someone wants to negotiate, I guess that's fine. But like to me, the amount of work that I put into it, it was the same amount of work. So it didn't matter the size. So let me just go through. I'll show you what I made, and then we'll talk about pricing. So... This one was the celery color. 
And I tried to just go really muted and I'm gonna market these, I think, as tiered tray signs and then fall decor. I thought I would use some some catch words like that to market it, but I thought these were the perfect size to just set in a tiered tray. So this one is hay rides. I'll just go through them quickly. Sweater weather. I do like how this one took up the whole the whole space on there, and that's the two by four. Here's fall. This is the gray or the mineral color, apple pie. Harvest. This is a bigger, chunkier one that I did with the two by four. Autumn. This one was supposed to say apple pie, but I couldn't fit both of them on there, so I just went with pie. Fall. Fall in another color. There's apple pie. Hay pumpkin. That one's a little bit bigger. A tiny fall. Pumpkin. Apples. Hay rides, fall in the celery color. These are the cream. I made this one a stand-up one. That one says hello fall. Pumpkin patch. Apples. Pumpkin. This one I just had a little pumpkin decal, so I put that one on there. Fall. Harvest. And then this one is Hello Pumpkin with just the little pumpkin in the middle. So I'm gonna display these, um, I think, all together. Take a picture and post it on, on Facebook Marketplace. I think I'm gonna do $4 a piece. I'm thinking of doing three for $10, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm just gonna start with the $4 and see how they go. Um, I'll touch base with you guys and let you know if they're selling, but you know, feel free to do something similar. I really think people are gonna be looking for outlets to buy homemade gifts and crafts without being able to go to craft fair. So let me know your thoughts and have a great night. Bye.